So we're going to talk about the hard score and the literature behind the hard score. And there was actually a recent meta-analysis that was published just at the end of 2018. 25 studies, 25,000 patients, 40% of them were identified as low risk, which would be a heart score of zero to three. And when they pulled all those studies together and they looked at major adverse cardiac events, so let me define major adverse cardiac events. We're talking about death, we're talking about MI, and we're talking about revascularization, all three pulled together. When we look at that, that rate is 2.1%. However, I did my own search and looks like they missed some studies in this meta-analysis. And so I actually recalculated myself and added these studies. They actually missed 13,000 patients in this meta-analysis, which I think is not insignificant. And so now we're talking about 32 trials, talking about 38,000 patients, still identify about 40% as low risk, but when you include those 13,000 other patients, your MACE rate's actually closer to 1.5%. So I think most of us would agree that's a pretty good number. Now, some of you may already have high sensitivity troponin at your shop. This is coming to a shop near you. If you don't have it already, it's coming. And there are seven studies with 9,000 patients using high sensitivity troponin. And when you look at those studies, your MACE rate, same definition, at 30 days to six weeks is about 0.9%. So it's a little bit better. So it sounds great. Except that, if you look at the percentage identified as low risk, it's 10% instead of 40%. So it's 30% less because there's more false positive troponins, making people not low risk. Now, what if we break it down by region? So the meta-analysis did a really nice job of this. They took studies from North America, they took studies from Europe and uh, Asia Pacific, and they broke them down. And I was actually surprised by this number because in North America, we had a lower MACE rate. And I think most of us would agree that I don't think we have the healthiest population in North America compared to European countries. The difference is the systems of healthcare that we work in. The systems in other areas of the world are using outpatient systems. We don't use our outpatient systems as well. Therefore, we have more patients coming to the ER, which means we have a larger denominator of patients. And that's why the MACE rate is actually lower in North America when you compare it to other parts of the country. It's not that we're healthier. It's just the way our health system works. We're having more people with chest pain coming to the ER instead of people going to clinics on an outpatient basis. So let me just summarize real quick. So you include all the studies, your MACE rate, 1.5%. So if you're using the heart score, this is the number that you're actually using for your patients. If you have high sensitivity troponin, make that number 0.9%. And for those of you that practice in North America, make that number about 0.7%. So the question is, can we do better? And the answer is, there is something out there called the heart pathway. And this is just a simple thing. It's repeating that troponin test at the two or three hour mark, depending on what you want to use at your institution. Some of the studies say two hours, some say three hours. I do two hours myself in my clinical practice, but some shops may want to do three hours. You actually drop your MACE rate down to 0.3% by getting that second troponin. And I think that's well worth it to get down to that closer to zero. So summarizing all of it, if you're using hard score and you're applying it correctly, you pull all the studies together, your MACE rate, which is MI, death, revascularization, 1.5%. You're using high sensitivity troponin, 0.9%. North America were 0.7%. If you add a second troponin at two or three hours, 0.3%. Thank you very much.